Hello. I'm coming to you live on Facebook from outside of the BOK Center right now. Where I just got done doing a news hit uh, on Channel 2 about the Cougars' big win. And it was really an incredible win. They, they said before this game, when we talked to them all week, we talked to them about Georgia State, their ability to knock down the three-pointer, and if they were worried about that. And they just kept telling us over and over that if we stick to our brand of basketball, if we play with the discipline we played with all season and stick to our principles, then we're really not too worried. That's all we can do. We can go out there, play tough defense, attack um, rebounding and all all the things that they've really done all season to get them to this 31 and 3 record well the Cougars definitely did that tonight they they capitalized on everything they dominated in every phase of this game and now they're walking away they're advancing they have survived in advance and they are going to face the winner of the Ohio State Iowa State game which is going on behind me right now Alex you have an update on that one I think I think, sorry, I don't have my phone. We're trying to get an update, but um, I do know that, what? 40-36 Ohio, Ohio State is leading right now, which I think is somewhat of a surprise. I've been hearing a lot of Cougar fans expecting to face Iowa State uh, in that second round, but of course there is still a lot of time left in that game. So tomorrow uh, when the Cougars talk to us, we'll be looking ahead to that matchup, see what they think they have to do to get that one. If anyone has any questions, feel free to fire them my way. Um, another interesting thing that happened, <laughs> a storyline within this game, was the Georgia State head coach, Ron Hunter in yesterday's press conference made several references to Coach Sampson being a grandpa. And um, apparently the players did not take lightly to that. They told us in the game or in the locker room after the game that they felt that was very disrespectful and that tonight was all about getting that win for Coach Sampson because they were mad about that. They did not like hearing somebody talk about their coach like that. And um, also Ron Hunter had said that rebounding is one of the most overrated or misleading stats in basketball well the Cougars out rebounded Georgia State 57 51 to 27 tonight so they really proved their point out there on the court they're moving on and um, I think they're really excited for what's to come oh, somebody Robert said that I just answered your question was it about the grandpa things maybe it was that was a lot of talk after this game was about Ron Hunter's comments whether he was joking or not not sure the Cougars did not take it as a joke and they showed that on the court uh, Corey Davis with 26 points he's been leading this team and scoring all season long no different tonight of course he had that tough game um, against Cincinnati in the American Conference Championship game he said that was the worst game of his career he definitely bounced back from that which we expected from him um, I, Alex what time is it Sorry guys I'm getting ready okay I'm getting ready to do a live shot here about 10:20 so I better get off of here but Cougar Nation, I don't know if you're already in Tulsa, if you're not here, but I know the guys would love your support if you want to make the trip for Sunday's game. Tomorrow we'll have much more on who they'll be facing next. So signing off here from Tulsa. And they need to have, sorry, I'm reading questions. They need to have the same energy when playing Sunday in round two. I totally agree, and I totally think they will. Coach Sampson will have it all together. So if you guys want to turn on channel two right now, I'm about to be live with more. You can hear from Corey Davis, who, like I said, had 26 points. So turn on the TV and watch me. Bye.